Hey Scott, so what are you standing on right there? I'm on an island. An island, it's an almost island. like a woody donut. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, and what what have you got inside the center of that donut? Um, a consortium. Awesome. Can you, for those that don't know what a consortium is, can you explain that? Sure. A consortium is a group of plants that's always changing through space and time, but they all complement each other. Awesome. Like successionally and um, with strata as well in the, in the way that they combine in regards to light. And um, the life cycle is the continual, um, is the time factor. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's building a little group of plants to, that all grow at different time and levels that complement each other, that will help regenerate that particular area. Is that right? Yeah, well, this started, this is essentially a regeneration project. So this started, this was, if you just yep. film around and look at all the stumps. Yep. You can keep talking. Yeah, well, the, the stumps were all campylorum trees, plus some others. And, um, they had been, they had gone through their successional um, phase and come to the end of that successional bracket, which is like middle, middle secondary succession. And then once they finished, they started to become senescent. And in nature, you wait for um, a, a, a tree to fall from a storm or something like that. It was all tied with vines. It's completely and utterly tied with whole place is tied with vines, all the treetops, mm -hmm. which is an indication of senescence and there was not much of an understory. So we cut the trees down and then we used the timber, we chopped it up as fertiliser, as food for the soil because it's green and we put it face down into the soil and we made this uh, island, mm -hmm. we made several, there's nine of them. Yeah. and. Uh, Within each um, island, we put a consortium that supports the next phase of succession following the one that we just intervened in. So the next layer of rainforest plants are coming up here. Plus yeah. we have plants that complement their existence and their youth, which are plants like pineapple, which are only just starting to grow. This is just overwintered. Yep. So it hasn't grow, started to really grow yet, but uh, we've got pineapple, different types of emergence. We've got, um, you know, mamay sapote. We're growing a fruit tree in there as well. Mm -hmm. And here we have a, uh, a white, what I believe is a white beech, a blue kwandong, and a lot of other seeds in there. And the tamarillo, there's a banana in there. The tamarillo and the banana, the lantana. Mm -hmm the re-sprouting cancer laurel and the seeds, the um, brush cassia and everything that we put in here will become the new placenta for the higher succession species that are coming up. So we'll have in two years bananas, pineapples, maybe the tamarillo has been cut out. Um, it's a tamarillo. And then we will be looking at a young mamay sapote that will be promising lovely yields of fruit while it protects these trees, big rainforest trees that are these ones. It's a big one, yeah. So we're regenerating the rainforest using syntropic principles. So we just intervene, speed up succession, grow a new plant consortium that brings about the next successional phase of the forest. It's very exciting and so <clears throat> all everything's planted together yes and so i think you were saying to me the tamarillo at the moment is going to help protect the other ones while yeah. they grow is yeah, that... well, te the tamarillo is the fastest growing one out of all of this consortium and it's the early one that says oh there's a whole heap of new light that's come down i'll use these great big solar panels right now because i'm specialized mm -hmm. at growing in the full sun 
and I'll come up and create a shield first and protect everyone below me while we together develop a relationship with the soil with a larger macro organism mm -hmm. and that tamarillo is just with those big leaves and the fast growth habit it's pioneering here and it's taking carbon just sucking carbon up as fast as it can and is just pushing it into the ground and boosting life under the ground which boosts life above the ground and all we're going to get is, is an increase in life that's exciting and so what's happening under the soil there you said there's a banana in the middle there's there a banana there's... Coming, that will come up uh it's just a bit cool yep. at the moment but they have they are coming up in other ones yeah yeah no, it's very exciting. And so people could do this in their backyards if they wanted yes. to, if they wanted to help um, bring back some native plants. Sure. Regenerate the soil with that sort of what's native around their areas and also any fruits. Yes, they can plant an avocado or a citrus in there with it and it'll only benefit the future trees. Mm, that's exciting. Thank you so much, Scott.